Before it started, definitely check out the private Discord server, link in the description below. 75, 85% win rate on options. We got analysts, admins, almost 2,000 members here, 24 seven hour support. It's pretty great, definitely check it out. We spent a lot of time on this. Now let's get back to the main topic, which is AMC, because we have been seeing some big things going on with the stock. It's still extremely popular with very, very high buy orders. Buy orders are always outnumbering the sell orders. Same exact things are happening to the options chain. We have been seeing massive amounts of calls being opened up with nearly 70,000 calls versus 42,000 puts. So you do have a huge amount of bullish news coming in and a lot of bullish actions. And we have been seeing a lot of these calls making a decent chunk of money. With the share prices being up today at around 5%, we are seeing some really amazing stuff. The iShares Russell 2000 ETF IWM is also up a decent amount. The triple leverage small cap is also up a ton today. I think generally it's just a pretty green market for perhaps the rest of the week. You also see the overall technical analysis for AMC. You got a massive drop a slight increase, another massive drop, and now you have a slow and steady increase. This is essentially forming a nice fang-shaped chart, which is usually very, very unique for consolidation and also a slight uptrend. And what's really funny is today it's up 5% on volume that's super tiny. In fact, the smaller the volume and the higher the price of the stock goes is the best thing you could hope for, because this means you don't even need that much buying pressure to send the price up. And this is on top of the dark pools being at roughly 65%. And also in the past 20 days, the average dark pool is 66%. So two thirds of the volume is dark pools. And essentially two thirds of a lot of your buy orders are probably not even accounted for. And by the way, a decent chunk of the remaining volume is gonna be the shorting. They're not only shorting the stock, but they're also shorting a ton of ETFs. For example, IWM, the Russell 2000 ETF, 38% of the free flow is shorted. It's pretty insane because the shares are running dry. And if you wanna short AMC and bring the price down, you gotta short the ETFs. It's absolutely crazy and wild here. But right now, AMC is up 5%, not because of no reason, but you also have a big uptrend in the price of the stock because you do have big hedge funds going in. A lot of big institutions actually agree that AMC has found its floor. In fact, we have tested AMC's floor three times already in the past month. And every single time it drops to $33, it bounces right back. Every time when it drops below $33, it goes down to 29, but it shoots right back up either towards the evening or after hours. That's what I keep saying. If it's below $33, you're getting at a Black Friday level sale. Now the FTDs are also calming down. The amount of failure to deliveries have been decreasing a little bit compared to before. It used to be in the millions, now it's in the hundred thousands. And the higher the FTD count, the failure to deliveries, the easier it is to suppress the price of a stock. High FTD count stocks usually have very, very poor movements and usually they tend to go down. And this could also mean a lot of the rules being implemented is getting into this FTD area. Because a lot of times when I buy like, for example, a $30 strike price call and it expires at $40, I need to get 100 shares at 30 bucks. That's how option holders make money. And the market makers have to provide you with 100 shares. And they do give me 100 shares, but most of the time they'll probably give out phantom shares, which if you give out 100 phantom shares, it adds to the FTD number. Therefore, it does suppress the price of a stock. And what I wanna say here is we are seeing some big changes happening. I think a lot of the rules being implemented recently have been beneficial more to the retail traders than to the institutions. A lot of these rules, they do talk about a controlled fire sale and what happens if hedge funds implode. And they also talk about, hey, no more of that really crazy over leveraged position stuff. If you over leverage on a position, it's generally very, very bad. And the short interest right now for AMC is nearly at 20%. And what's really funny is even though it's a very high short interest, you have an upwards trend of the stock and a downwards volume. And with the two thirds of the volume being dark pulls and the remaining volume is mostly shorts with very little buy orders, but just a mere small amount of buy orders is sending the price of the stock up. I think a lot of people are pretty much taking account that, hey, maybe buying some AMC shares really isn't that bad of a decision simply because a lot of people are buying in and people are buying in placing these huge amount of calls. Even Citadel right now in the past week has actually increased their call count by 1.8 million contracts. They currently have $338 million worth of calls. And the reason why they're doing it is they're afraid that AMC might be going up and they have an increasing massive stakes in the share count as well. You also have Bank of America, Northern Trust Corp. They've all increased the amount of shares massively in the past few days, even though they've originally owned AMC like several years ago, but it's only recently have they been increasing their positions massively. In fact, 
a decent amount of hedge funds actually have AMC as a large chunk of the portfolio. You do have some of the biggest hedge funds in the world having a decent chunk of AMC just in case if the whole entire market absolutely gets demolished, you'll still be okay because AMC will probably have a massive short squeeze. One of the biggest rules we're talking about, for example, the NSCC 2021-010 is if there is a massive short squeeze, let's say for a stock and the hedge fund absolutely implodes. And those are possible things because a London-based hedge fund a few months ago got taken out by the GME short squeeze. And because of this, the rules are now being implemented. If you're over leveraged position and you're losing, you probably have to close it with a massive margin call. Or if you already lose, then the SFT will probably take your shares and give you collateral and take out a loan for you, all that stuff, so you can pay off the debt and then give your shares back so you don't have to sell it. Or they'll grab your shares and slowly sell off in a control fire sale fashion. Because a lot of these big hedge funds and also institutions like Citadel, they own billions of dollars of shares. And if you sell so many of these all at once, it's gonna be really detrimental. The amount of naked shorting is crazy for AMC. The amount of institutions buying to AMC is crazy. In fact, 25 to 30% of the free flow at this point is owned by institutions. And we know that 80 to 90% are owned by retail traders. So if you add this together, you've got millions and millions of synthetics being bought up. These fake shares are made up and eventually these synthetics have to be bought back when there is the biggest short squeeze of all time. And these massive short squeezes are possible. Very similar to the Volkswagen short squeeze of 08. These things do happen and it could cause a massive wealth transfer from big institutions to everyday retail traders and even some of the smaller hedge funds. So let's see where AMC is headed to. You do have a downwards volume, but also a slight upwards trend in the stock price. So it's pretty good. We are seeing some big differences coming up. Now the overall market cap for AMC, 17, 18 billion dollars. I think it go even more, especially Adam Aaron is implementing a lot of big things. Even having, for example, WWE events, okay, UFC, sports. He's also contacting major sports leagues, you know, FIFA, for example, you know, NBA, NCAA, all this kind of stuff, NFL. He's trying to really change it up. I know movie theaters are supposed to showcase movies, but now he's showcasing concerts with Chance the Rapper and also WWE and much, much more. It's a pretty interesting thing that's happening to AMC. I think it's getting a lot of people hyped up. And what I want to say here is I think AMC is being really different here. Instead of just being strictly movie theater, they're experimenting with all sorts of different things. And because of the CEO and the overall company recently has been pretty progressive and trying a lot of new things, I'm willing to put money on it simply because there could be a chance where AMC trying to change this digitally. Who knows? Maybe AMC could be the next big Netflix. Just think about that. AMC has the money. They have the clout. And I think they have a lot of really amazing things coming up for them. This is why I'm buying. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. Definitely check out Moomoo. Link in the description below. Click on it. Make a Moomoo broker account. Deposit $100. Get two free stocks. 5K more, two more free stocks. And by the way, if you maintain a deposit in your portfolio of $2,000 or more for 30 days, you get a free share of General Motors stock, GM. And that's like 50 bucks. Free money. Take advantage of it. See you guys later.